Hey guys, Happy Splasher here. Good morning. So right now we're going to continue with the Animus event. So yeah, let's hop right in. Currently we are on Animus Floor 3 and we are looking to complete this if possible. We are spending a little bit more gems and we're doing a little bit more quests. So yeah, let's see if we can get it done. So first we're going to head over to this normal battle instead of the hard battle to save ourselves a little bit of difficulty. We are currently on Mary the Blessed. Let's take a look at our skills. So at the start of the turn, she'll get Mental Shield. Whenever she is attacked, we'll deal damage to the Warlord. And then at the beginning of the turn, we'll improve that second skill by some damage. Okay, a couple things. Looks like they will get Mental Shield at the beginning. So we want to make sure that we have heroes that can stick around so that we can break through the Mental Shield. And then after deal damage. Whenever she's attacked, we'll deal damage to our Warlord. So we want to make sure we have some sort of heal or the ability to deal a lot of damage really quickly. And then because that second skill is going to improve, we want to make sure that we can deal as much damage as we can. Otherwise, we are going to get overwhelmed by this damage. Okay, let's take a look at the heroes. Yeah, we'll hop right in. Okay, we are going to start with our melee hero over here on D3. You can see we're taking a little bit of damage because this Jaxi does have extra attack. Okay, we have the Mr. Devil here, which deals extra damage to our Warlord, and then also will, when dies, it deals damage to one of our heroes. We're going to go with, let's see, we can still take damage anyways, but we do need to clear out heroes. So what we'll do is for now, we should go with this melee hero over here on a three. This Arthur Frostblade will be able to freeze uh, some heroes. So at least we don't have to worry about them. Okay, we have this Aravada, which has immunity to silence and also this heal skill. We can still freeze, so that is good. We'll just need to deal some more damage. In this case, we'll go with the Thinking what's going to make sense. You know, this will be good. We'll go with the um, we'll go with the red woman here on D one. We can give some vampirism over to our heroes, and then also deal additional damage that way. Okay, we'll go. Let's see. At this point, I don't think we need to do the freeze anymore. We'll go with the damage skill. Okay, next we'll go with the Jimmy Rocker boys. And then finally, oh, I guess we have to wait one more turn in order to get the stones. So what we'll do is we'll summon a range hero over here on, uh, on, uh, I'm sorry, C, C2. <laughs> Getting a little flustered here. Okay, we're taking advantage of the extra attack to break through the metal shield. Okay, how much damage are we going to take now if we attack? We're going to take 53, which is actually probably going to be lethal. Let's go with the stones. Taking a little bit of damage over there. Let's go with a shuffle to see if we can find some heroes that can at least give an attack boost. We can take advantage of the extra attack, so that'd be good, but we're still going to take lethal on these two lanes, so we'll do another shuffle, see if we can get an attack boost. And we do have a little something. We do have some damage runes over here. Yeah, I guess we can actually take advantage with this Justy on A1. A little bit more damage. We'll take lethal, and that's okay. Okay, we did a little more than halfway for damage, so yeah, let's hop right back in and keep on battling Mary. Okay, uh, this time around, I'm going to go start with the Mina Helsing here on D1. We'll be able to deal some additional damage once we have our heroes attacked. Okay, we have the, the Aravada over here. Gonna go with the light hero just to help us block. And the Aravada does have a heal skill, and that is okay. Okay, we will need to break through these two heroes eventually. Let's go with the see, I know I do know Armina Helsing has extra attack, and we could deal damage that way. Go with our go with this melee hero over here on C3. This Diana gets an attack bonus whenever, uh, well, attack bonus equal to our health. So we'll just break through there. We just need another hero to attack. We're going to go with our damage skill. Clear out this hero. We do see some extra damage runes because of the Confucius. We'll go with our Rocker Boy summons. Okay, we actually cleared out some other heroes over there, and that's fine. We'll do actually a shuffle because I want to find a weaker hero in order to attack with. 
Uh, I'll do one more. And yeah, this Prince Nod over here on A2 will be good. You can see some additional damage, and that was okay. Okay, we have the Strick here with the additional damage to our heroes. We're gonna go with, let's see. Deal damage over there. We'll go with the. Uh, we actually don't need to go with the stones. We do have lethal here. Just gonna do a skip turn and save these heroes. Extra attack, and there we go. So that was Mary the Blessed. It helped that our Diana got an attack boost to her attack once we broke through the mental shield. Then we could deal more damage to Mary. Okay, so we'll grab our stuff. Okay, we'll check out this quest over here. This one says summon demigods 30 times, which we will actually not do. We'll go into this next battle here for the normal. This is Soul Hunter. Let's take a look at her skills. So whenever she's attacked by a male hero, we'll deal damage to one of our heroes. Whenever she's attacked by a female hero, she'll get mental shield. And then whenever an enemy dies, we'll deal damage to the warlord. So a couple things. Looks like whenever we attack her with a male hero, we'll take damage to one of our heroes. So we want to make sure that if we do attack, we will, uh, if we attack with a male hero, we want to make sure our heroes can actually take the damage. And uh, when we attack with a female hero, she'll get mental shield. So if we're going to do this, we want to make sure we attack with mostly male heroes. And if we do have female heroes, at least have some way to deal extra damage to break through the mental shield. On top of that, whenever one of our heroes dies, we'll deal damage to our warlord. So we want to make sure that... Uh, so th this third skill will actually combo with this first skill here with our male heroes being destroyed. If we have immune heroes, that would be good. If we also have some sort of heal or mental shield or other forms of protection, that will also be good too. Okay, let's take a look at some of the heroes. And we'll hop right in. Okay, so we do have a couple of male heroes, so that's good. Let's go... Ooh, you know what? Even better. We have a building that can give us mental shield. And it can also heal us for a little bit. In this case, we can't go above our max health. But that's okay. Okay, we do have the General Zorma here with the immunity to silence. It's kind of early, but I think I'm actually going to deal damage to clear it out. Okay, and then we'll also follow up with this next hero over here on D3. This Confucius has immunity, and so only our building will take damage. Okay, we have the Snake the Lizard Prince. This one here has resistance for turn. We'll also summon extra attack runes when it is destroyed. We're going to go with the Dead Lord here on A2 just to transform this hero and not get the death trigger. Okay, and as you can see, we do take a little bit of damage, but that's okay. We have the Confucius giving our damage runes over there, which is nice. We have the Chupacabras here, which will give negative attack to our order heroes for a turn. Also, we'll deal damage to heroes in the line. Uh, I'm going to go with the... thinking what's going to make sense. Eh, you know, we'll go with the, uh, the Rocker Boys. And then on top of that, you have a decent amount of male heroes. Let's go with... This one with the high health on D3. Okay, looks like our life palace is now gone, so that's unfortunate. That's okay, we don't want to get in the way of our male heroes by doing our summons, so what we'll do is we will... These are all actually stronger anyways. We'll do a shuffle. And, ooh, in this case we have the Discordia over here on D1, which will allow us to give extra attack to some of our heroes. We have the Kabos here with some block over to the Warlord, and that is okay. Okay, we're taking additional damage. Uh, we have a Ghosta here, which will also deal extra damage to us whenever one of our heroes are attacked. We'll go with the... What's going to make the most amount of sense? We'll go with the... Uh, yeah, we'll go with the Koshi over here on D2. Okay, we're probably going to end up taking lethal right here. Never mind. That's good. Uh, we will hit the General Zorma. We're going to go with another hero. Uh, this. Yeah, actually, we'll, we'll go with this male hero over here on C3. If we had another order hero, we could actually combo the Legion for extra attack. Uh, but this is fine. We have the Kabas again with some more block. 
you want to have that destroyed. We're just going to... Well, actually, we'll do a shuffle and see what happens. In this case, we do have actually a couple of heroes that can help us heal. I just want to make sure that we can actually break through. I do know that there's reflect damage, but I think we're going to be okay. I might as well summon a hero just to make sure. Oh, actually, we do have lethal. There we go. So that was uh, Soul Hunter. We had some reflect damage happen to our heroes, but we did have enough health in order to take the actual damage skill. Right, so we'll grab our stuff and continue. Okay, we have another choice between normal and hard, and we will go for the normal one just to make it a little easier. Okay, this is Mad Mechanic. Let's take a look at his skills. So whenever he is attacked, we'll summon three electric towers to the allied cells. Okay, so a couple things look like they'll have extra summons, and so we want to make sure that we clear out these extra summons because they'll probably deal some form of damage either to our warlord or to our heroes. And so also as well, when they're attacked, because of that, we want to make sure that we have heroes on the higher rows rather than the bottom. So yeah, so let's take a look at some of the heroes. And I will explain a little bit more of the rows when we get into battle. Okay, so no buildings here so far, so that's cool. Uh, we'll go with the... See what's going to make the most sense. Yeah, let's go with this range here over here with the high health on A1. So you can see these three electric towers will deal damage over to our warlord, which is not what we want to see. Okay, we'll have... Let's see... We have the Tengu over here with some, let's see, negative attack to our heroes for a turn, also an attack boost as well. Not too concerned about this yet. Uh, you know, yeah, this will be fine. Let's let's go clear out the Tengu. Then we actually get a Horo Horo off of our Hanako. We'll go with this. Don't actually want to give extra attack quite yet. We do, actually, if we have heroes that can deal extra damage to other heroes, that'll be good. So let me do a shuffle and see what we can find. Ooh, and this Grace will actually be pretty helpful, so let's use her. Okay, clearing out some of the towers using her random damage. Okay, we have this Tesla X. This Tesla X will deal damage at the end of the turn, and then also at the beginning of the turn, and whenever any hero dies. We do want to clear this out, so let's go with our melee hero over here on A3. We have some more towers, clearing out all the towers, and then now we have the Grace has the seven extra attacks. Okay, we have the Grace of Rockfleet being infected by Curse and Bleeding, which is not going to help us. Uh, let's go with... let's see... You know, we will go with the Rocker Boy summons, and then we'll also go with our My Ten here on B3. Clear out some additional buildings. Get some more buildings. We have our damage. We have our extra attacks going in. Clearing out some more of the towers. We have the Freddy coming back, unfortunately. But the heroes that are cursed are fine. At this point now, let's see. Anybody else cursed? Yeah, we do. Okay. We're gonna go with the We're gonna go with the Alexandria over here on C1. It's unfortunate the grace was destroyed because we could have actually just gone for lethal in that one turn. That's okay. We got the Alexandria so we can actually remove some of our negative effects later. Okay, we have we have the Mina Helsing here with the accuracy and the evasion. We're going to go with the we'll go with our own Freddy actually. Curse the heroes. Get rid of the Mina Helsing to avoid taking additional damage for each one of our heroes attacking. Okay, we have another Tesla X tower. I'm gonna go with the... This is gonna be close. Going over here. No, we're gonna go with the Ghosta over here on B2, just to deal additional damage whenever one of our heroes attack. We did clear out the Tesla X, so that's good. Okay. We have the leader Nil in there, hitting our Kabas. Fortunately, we will have lethal if we attack on the open lane, so we'll just use... Yeah, we'll just use this hero over... Yeah, actually, we still have our Ghosta. We don't need, need to do anything. We'll do a shuffle and see if we can find a weak hero to get rid of. We do not. We will skip the turn here. And well, there you go. So that was Mad Mechanic. 
Okay, we will continue. Okay, we have our quest over here. This one is to spend 4,500 gems. We will be doing this by way of Legendary Drop. And so we will see you guys later. All right, guys, we are back. Currently, we're on that quest to spend the 4,500 gems. We have done that offline. And so as you can see, here are the rewards. So we will now continue. Okay, we have the next battle here. We're going to go the normal one as usual. So this is Lonely Armadillo. Let's take a look at his skills. So he has block. He, whenever he's attacked, he will deal damage to the enemies. And then at the beginning of the turn, we'll improve that second ability by some damage. Okay, a couple things. Looks like they will have block on their warlord, so that means that we'll need to have heroes with high attack. Also, when they're attacked, they'll deal damage to our heroes because we are the enemies. So we want to make sure we have heroes with either protection, heal, mental shield, high health, anything of the sort. And so also because that skill is going to improve, we want to make sure that we do as much damage as we can. Otherwise, we will be overwhelmed by the damage. Okay, let's take a look at some of the heroes. And we'll hop right in. Okay, well, as mentioned, we will want to use heroes with high health. So we can actually go with this Count Vlad here on D3. He also has extra attack, so that's good too. We have the Vixen the Stormlord here with freezing one of our heroes whenever our Warlord is attacked. We will go with our... Actually, you know, this hoodoo over here on a uh, B1 will be good because of the mad totem. That totem, summoned by the hoodoo, will allow us to heal. We have the Yuri Shadow Dagger here with some extra damage to our range heroes and also gets an attack boost. Uh, we are going to look to clear this out. I guess we'll just go with our Vixen as well. Yeah! Haha! <laughs> Okay, we have the Murden Care. This one summons a rabbit, and that rabbit silences the enemy that destroyed it. We are going to, let's see here. We know that we have some extra damage on this. We actually do that. So yeah, let's go take care of the Murden Care. Allow us to keep attacking. And then as you can see that totem from the Hoodoo allows us to heal. Okay, we are, let's see here. This Tesla X will deal some damage at the beginning of the turn and also at the end of the turn. I'm going to go with a hero with high health. As you can see, we do have our hero still alive because of the totem, which is very nice. Okay, we have this Goliath here with some attack steal and also some damage to our heroes. We're gonna do our damage skill just to clear this out. And then we'll also go with the uh, Rocker Boys. Followed by the... Might as well go with the stones while we're here. And we will then also go with this range hero on C2. Okay, we have this Yuri once again. Not a problem. Going to... Guess we'll just clear her out using our own Yuri. Okay, they have the Yorick here with the damage and then also the attack boost and reborn. Actually go with this. If this is going to make sense. Yeah, we can actually go with this old god here on C3. He'll be able to freeze range heroes once he's attacked. Okay, and it looks like this Apep gave the Yorick reborn, so that's not good. Uh, see how much damage it's going to be. Uh, this will be fine. Uh, we'll actually need to find a way to get rid of the Apep, so we'll do a shuffle. And we do have a ranged hero that can actually destroy that, so we'll summon there. Whoa! Okay, as you can see, we didn't take any damage off of the old god because of the immunity. It takes some additional damage from the Tesla X, which is okay. Go with this. Hmm. No, we'll actually go with the Spore Loath here on A3. Just to get our extra nature summons that will power up the Tengu right here. 
Okay, another Goliath again. Do another shuffle to see if we can find any heroes to get around that. So let's see what the attack still. Oh, the attack still should be okay. I'll we'll actually go with this Monkey King here on D3. And well, there you go. So that was Lonely Armadillo. All right, we will continue. Okay, we have a choice now between two of these normal battles. Let's take a look at both of them. So this is Captive Yuki. Let's take a look at her skills. So whenever an enemy attacks, we'll give negative attack to a random enemy. Every two turns, we'll swap the attack and health of our heroes. And then at the beginning of the turn, we'll improve that skill. And we'll also get Mental Shield at the beginning. We'll check out the bottom one as well. This one is Hansel the Vengeful. Let's take a look at his skills. So whenever an ally spawns, they'll get block, and then whenever an enemy attacks, they will deal damage to two random enemies. And at the beginning of the turn, we'll improve both of these skills by a block and attack. Okay, given that there is actually Mental Shield on the Warlord here for the Captive Yuki, we're going to avoid her because we want to deal, be able to deal damage on multiple turns. So in this case, we'll head down to the Hansel the Vengeful. We'll take a look at his skills again. So whenever they attack, whenever an, actually, whenever an ally spawns, it will get block. And then whenever an enemy attacks, we'll deal damage to two random enemies. And then also that block skill and damage skill will improve. So a couple things. Looks like their heroes will get blocked. So we will need to find a way to deal damage through the block, either with higher attack or some other types of damage, maybe poison, curse, anything of that sort. Also, whenever one of our heroes attacks, they'll deal damage to two of them. So we want to make sure that we have heroes with high health or immunity or anything that can take the damage. And so, yeah, let's take a look at some of the heroes. And we'll hop right in. Okay, uh, let's see here with the ally spawns block. We'll actually go with an immune hero over here on D3 to avoid some damage. Okay, we have the Balts the Warden here with some extra copies and then also deals additional damage whenever he dies. We do want to clear him out to avoid taking additional damage, so we'll do a shuffle to find a range hero because he has flight. Go with... I don't like having this floss because of the multiple summons, but at least he can kind of stick around for a little bit. Oh, I forgot about the block. That is going to be a problem. Okay, well, in this case, we'll just use our damage skill in order to clear these out. And we'll also go with our range heroes. Uh, our Mr. Flap is actually giving us a health boost to our heroes, so that's very nice. And I do want to protect the lanes next, so let's go with... Oh, we'll go with the range hero. As you can see, the damage does go up a little bit, but not quite enough. Uh, let's see. We have the General Zorma here with some extra copies whenever they are attacked. Also extra damage to us whenever it attacks. We will need to find a way to clear this out, so we'll go with... Hmm. You know, we're going to go with the Bastet here on B3. When she comes into play, we'll be able to deal damage and then also get an attack boost. And just enough in order to break through onto the Zorma. Okay, we have the Santa transforming our uh, Bastet into a reward box. That is okay. We'll go with these stones now, just to help us block. And then we'll also go with this range hero over here on A2, just to complete. As you can see, we can't get through the Santa because of the amount of block, but that is okay. Okay, we have the Grace of Rock Fleet here with some random damage. Also, the attack boost happening once she kills something. And that's why the Santa here has an attack boost. We will look to clear out either one of these heroes if possible. Let's go with... No, actually, we'll go with this Iceberg here on B3. He has the ability to freeze the attacking enemy once a melee hero is attacked. Yeah! Didn't see the freeze there. Didn't freeze in the Santa, but that is okay. We have the Hanzo Sama here with the Mental Shield and also Counterattack. Fortunately, we do have the Immune Hero and the Open Lanes, so what we'll do is we'll just skip the turn. And there we go. So that was Hansel the Vengeful. 
Okay, we will continue. Okay, we will choose the normal battle as usual. This is Noble Warrior. Let's take a look at his skills. So before the enemy attacks, we'll give negative attack to them. And at the end of the turn, we'll deal damage to enemies with zero attack. Okay, so a couple things. Looks like we will have negative attack to our heroes before they attack. So we want to make sure we have heroes with high attack. Otherwise, they won't be able to attack. Also, at the end of the turn, we'll deal damage to enemies with zero attack. So if any of our heroes have zero attack, they will take damage. So we want to make sure that we have something that allows for an attack boost. Yeah, having an immune hero would be good. Any other forms of damage to the warlord would also be good too. Okay, so yeah, let's take a look at some of the heroes. And yeah, we'll hop right in. Okay, uh, so given that our heroes are going to have that negative attack, we do want to summon heroes with high attack. So let's go, I wonder if this Masora will actually help us out here. Nope, just the one copy. Yeah. Oh. Okay, we have the Scrap the King of Garbage here with some attack steal and off of one of our heroes dying and then extra attack and also extra damage. Uh, I do actually want to clear this out now just because that attack steal can become a problem. So we'll just do the damage skill. And then on top of that, if we have a hero that can potentially give attack boost, that would be good. Mm, nothing quite yet, so we'll do a shuffle. And nothing also yet. We'll do one more shuffle. And we do have an immune hero, so that's good. The immune hero over here, Dark Iron Maiden, which would give a damage bonus. Uh, actually, a damage skill after an uh, enemy gets an attack bonus. Okay, we have the TNT Crazy Demolitionist here with some damage runes, also adjacent damage. We will look to stop this. Hmm. I'm gonna go with the Groot here on D3, just to silence the hero. Also, he gets a health boost at the end of the turn. Okay, we have the Masora Wind Breath here with some extra copies, also an attack boost as well. We're gonna go with our rocker boys and then also i guess we'll go with the yeah we'll go with the uh, tesla x over here on d1 just to deal some damage at the end of the turn you can see these heroes taking additional damage because of the attack bonus okay they have their own tesla x as well so that's gonna be a problem we're gonna go with the stones just to block and then we'll also go with the Melia here on the one. Let's deal some poison damage. Okay, and it looks like we did take lethal because of the Tesla X. That's okay. We dealt a little more than halfway of health. Okay, we will look to try to finish them off on this next battle. Okay, so once again, additional negative attack. Uh, we're gonna go with the high tinker here on d3 and the reason why is because they have the tesla x which will allow us to deal additional damage in this case they summon the scrap over here which we will need to get rid of uh let's see don't want the attack steal so we'll just do the damage skill then we'll go with the hero with an attack over here Whoa! Okay, we have another TNT. We're gonna go with the Rocker Boys here. And also we'll go with... Do you know how this Bravi deals some extra range damage? That won't be enough. We have the extra attack here. We'll do a shuffle, see what we can find. In this case, yeah, we'll actually go with the circuit here on D3. The reason why is the circuit can deal some random damage to an enemy, and that'll just be enough to hit the TNT, who is the only hero on the board. Okay, we have the ghost here with some extra damage over to our warlord once she attacks. I'm gonna go with the let's see. Hmm. You know, we're gonna go over here with the tiling dragon dance on E1. Didn't think we were going to have enough attack, but we summoned the Tiling Dragon Dance just because of the extra Mooshus to draw away the damage. 
Okay, well, with the open lanes, we'll go with the TNT. Yeah, we'll actually go with the TNT. This, this will be fine. We also summon the stones just to get a little bit of protection over to our hero. Okay, it looks like we had some heroes destroyed. We have another Tesla X, which we will need to clear out. Go with the Super Mary here on B3, just to get some more protection. Okay, uh, another scrap. It's gonna be a problem. Uh, we have that over there. No, we're gonna summon the Triton here on C3. He has the uh, silent skill whenever he is attacked. And that'll be enough just to stop the scrap here. Okay, we have the Misora is actually behind the scrap, so we won't be able to attack. We're gonna go with the... I'm gonna do one more shuffle and see if we can find some heroes that'll help us out here. In this case, we'll go with another melee hero on A3. <laughs> Okay, we are running out of heroes that are able to attack. We're gonna go with the... We're running a little bit close. Yeah, this will be fine. We'll go with the Apollo over here, just on the open lane. Okay, at this point, we'll go with the flight hero here on C2. The Anak here can deal some poison damage to ranged heroes. Also, getting in the way of the melee heroes for flight. Uh, let's go next with the uh, Sir Lancelot here on B2. We'll be able to get some block to our heroes. Also, we can reflect some damage. I forgot, another thing about the Apollo 2 is that we get some mental shield, and then whenever any of the mental shields break, we'll be able to get an attack boost to our heroes, which will actually get around that other skill. Uh, really low on health. We're going to go with the Villanomad Genius here on a 2. We'll get some health boost at the end of the turn. Also help protect against some of our other heroes. Okay, another Tesla X again. Going to skip the turn just because I don't want to use any of these heroes over here. Whoops, sorry. <laughs> they will, oh, we're still dealing with the Tesla X. Okay, this is okay. How much block is it? Okay, you shouldn't have that much block. Oh, it's because of our negative attack. I keep on forgetting. Okay, well, we will skip the turn once again. Okay, finally get rid of the Tesla X. And we're also back at full health with the Villano. Okay, at this point, we're just going to skip the turn again. Not too concerned about these Masora copies. And actually, if they do... Uh, have the ability to attack, we'll be able to break the shields, and as you can see, they all have an attack boost now. Another Ghosta, once again, we'll skip the turn, looking to break through, and there we go. So that was Noble Warrior. Yeah, having that Apollo at the very end allowed us to get those attack boosts that we needed in order to get around the Warlord skill. Alright, so we'll continue. Okay, we will now go through the quest here. We will spend the 30,000 uh, marks, and we have plenty of them around. So we'll head over to the Luxphere, and we'll start spending all of them. Legendary. And as you see, we did complete this. So we also do have some bonus sparks, or bonus marks. <laughs> but we'll head back to the roadmap and continue. Okay, we have another normal battle, so let's do that. Okay, this is Francis the Obliging. Let's take a look at his skills. So whenever an enemy attacks, we'll deal damage to them. Whenever an enemy dies, we'll deal damage to the Warlord. And then at the beginning of the turn, we'll improve both of these skills. Okay, a couple things. Looks like whenever one of our heroes attacks, they will take damage. So we want to make sure we have heroes with high health or metal shield, protection, anything of the sort. Whenever one of our heroes dies, we'll take damage to our Warlord. So we want to make sure we don't have our heroes die. And then also those other skills will improve. So we want to make sure that we can deal as much damage as we can before we get overwhelmed. Okay, let's take a look at some of the heroes. And we'll hop right in. Okay, so given that we want to have heroes that can actually survive, we'll start with the... 
No, oh, this will be good. We're going to start with the Vanakori here on the two. And we'll be able to get some heal. And then on top of that, the Vanakori will allow us to reflect some damage. We're currently facing the snake here with some resistance, also an attack, uh, attack steal, and some attack runes. We're going to go with this melee here over here on a three. This Ariok here has some invulnerability, so we can at least stop them for a little bit. Okay, we have the Toxic Mantis. When he dies, we'll give Toxin to all of our heroes. A little bit of bleeding happening from our Ariok, so that's good. Do know that we do have additional Toxin here. I wonder if there's a way to just keep all of our heroes alive. Uh, we'll go with the... Yeah, we'll go with this Nature Hero over here on uh, C3. This Queen Anata will do some poison. Also, we'll give some health boost for later. Okay, uh, let's see. We'll do our damage skill to actually clear out this Aphrodite. And you see the death trigger for the attack runes. That is okay. We'll go with... You know, we'll go with our Rocker Boys. And then on top of that, we'll go with the Shaolin here. As you see, we have some of our Rocker Boys being destroyed, but as you can see, we are also healing because of that. Okay, we have the Mr. Devil here with some extra damage to our heroes and then also to our Warlord. We're going to go with the Mother Owl here on the uh, A1. Just behind the Invulnerable Hero. The Mother Owl will also give some stack boost and some other summons. Okay, we have the Jormund Grand here with some extra, uh, let's see, freeze and then also some extra damage whenever Frozen Hero is destroyed. We're going to go with the Stones in order to heal. And then also, just to be safe, because we're running very low on health, we're going to go with the... Uh, let's see... No, we're going to go with the Void Jewel here. And actually, we did take Lethal just because of the Reflect. Kind of a bummer. Especially when we did plan that out. Okay, we are... Let's see... That was about a quarter of the way there, so we'll probably need three more attempts. So we'll go back in and see if we can do any better. Okay, uh, let's see. You know, we're gonna go with this hero with the high health first. So this axe will have an attack boost. Also, we'll take uh, let's see, extra attack and also some extra damage. Okay, we have the snake delivered prince once again. Can't clear him out because of the resistance. So what we'll do is we'll shuffle and see if we can find some sort of silence. Uh, we do, but not the best of it. So we'll do one more shuffle and see what we can find. In this case, we do have a we do have a nature hero. So let's be okay. I'm going with the Ondine here on D1 because we'll be able to freeze at least some of the enemies. Okay, we're taking a lot of damage. Okay. Uh, let's see. We'll go with the damage skill just to clear out these heroes. We'll go with... Oh, 36. Oh, we're, we're going to be taking a lot of damage if we do that. So let's actually not summon the Rocker Boys this time. Whoa! Oh, and we are going to take Lethal here. Because of the Yorick with the extra damage. Okay, another uh, quarter of the way there. So we'll need two more attempts. Oh, we are running low on reality shards, though. Okay, well, as mentioned, we want to make sure we don't have our heroes die. Let's go with the Void... Uh, actually, General Zorma here with the high health. Why are they always able to start with Snake all the time? That's so weird. Anyways, we'll go with our actual Silence hero here on the uh, B1. The Regardus here will be able to get a zombie. Okay, uh, we'll go with the damage skill now. Clear out these heroes. Even though this York had Reborn, we did clear it up. Let's see, how much damage is it? It's 26. Okay. Uh, let's go with this hero with high health. Whoa! Okay, we have the Dormant Grand once again with the freeze skill. Uh, go with the... Yeah, you know what? We'll go with the... Uh, Cerny here on B3. He has some attack steal. 
And once again, we did take lethal, but this time from the Aphrodite and the Jorman Grand with the high health. Okay, well, we should be able to clear it out with this final attempt, so let's hop right back in. Okay, uh, let's go with the Fury here on D3. As you can see, we're dealing some additional damage. Okay, there is some block with the Kabas uh, over here. Block onto the Warlord, just seeing how much. Only 22, so in this case, we can... I do want to say... Actually, you know, we'll just do this here, here, over here on E1. And there we go. So that was Francis the Obliging. Okay, we'll grab our rewards. Okay, well, we have one more battle over here. This is Prince Astaroth. Let's take a look at his skills. So at the beginning of the turn, we'll set all the attack enemies attack to 1. Whenever the enemy attacks, we'll deal damage to a random enemy. At the beginning of the turn, we'll improve that second skill. And then also they have block. Okay, so a couple things. Looks like they're going to set our heroes over to one attack. And that's actually going to combine with the block skill. So they looks like we won't be able to deal damage for the first time the heroes are summoned. So we want to make sure we have heroes that uh, get an attack boost if possible. Oh, also says all enemies. So, wow, that's, that's actually pretty strong. Okay, uh, the second skill here, whenever an enemy attacks, we'll deal damage to them. So we want to make sure that we have heroes with high health or protection or some sort of heal. And then at the start of the turn, we'll improve that second skill. So again, we're going to take additional damage. So we have to actually probably have to find heroes that can deal damage without attacking. But that is going to be very hard. Okay, let's take a look at some of the heroes. And we, it looks like we are currently out of attempts right now. We can buy more shards, and doesn't look like we can, unless we want to spend some money. <laughs> so it looks like we're just going to have to stop it here. But uh, yeah, uh, we could potentially get some more. Ten. Oh, we only have, yeah, we only have that much. So unfortunately, we will not be able to complete the Animus, even though we did put a lot of, what do you call them, uh, gems into the event. But that is okay. We did get a decent amount of the marks. Let's head over to the Lux Sphere and then spend them and grab some stuff. So in this case, we'll keep spinning. Legendary. Okay, got some more marks. Got uh, some copies of everything. Okay, we'll keep spinning. Legendary. Okay, and looks like we got the full bar of rewards, so at least that's good. Can't do anything else. Can we buy some more bundles? Nope. Okay. Well, we got all of the main rewards, and uh, just not the Animus rewards. Legendary. We'll just grab our Legendary. stuff. Legendary. Legendary. And we'll, we'll head up. So yeah, a little unfortunate that we got some bad runs towards the end. I can imagine that this boss is going to be very difficult anyways, and you'll have to, have to navigate the map just a little better. What's at the end of the rainbow here? Oh, okay. Could have used the Miracle Scrolls. But yeah, yeah, well, we'll have to try it again, and hopefully we can get through the Animus the next time. This is Happy Splasher, signing off.